Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. A Grand Rapids police officer has been charged with second degree murder in the death of Patrick Leoya. In early April, Officer Christopher Schur pulled over Leoya for a traffic stop. When the two got into a scuffle, a bullet was fired into the back of Leoya's head. The felony charge carries a life sentence with the possibility of parole. The jury will have the opportunity to consider the lesser charge of manslaughter. Officer Schur has turned himself in and is expected to be arraigned possibly by tomorrow. After an FBI raid of his home, a Republican candidate for Michigan governor has been arrested and charged in the Capitol riot attack. An affidavit filed by the FBI says 40 year old Ryan Kelly was captured on video outside the Capitol during the J January 6th Capitol riot. Investigators say it shows him waving to the crowd repeatedly and directing people toward the stairs leading into the building. Kelly was released without posting bail this afternoon following a short hearing in Grand Rapids Federal Court. A mid-Michigan police officer is back on patrol after a long hiatus. Saginaw Township Police shared this photo on Facebook, welcoming back Officer Jeff Koenig yesterday. He returned to road patrol for the first time in more than three years. He was shot by Joshua Rosebush during a January 2019 traffic stop. A judge sentenced Rosebush to a minimum of 75 years and a maximum of 150 years for the charge of assault with intent to murder a Alone. And now here's Chris with a look at our forecast. Meg, some showers and storms passed through earlier this evening, but the chances should drop off pretty quickly the rest of the night. And it does look like our skies will clear as well. So if you're seeing clouds right now, give it time. You may be able to sneak in some late day sun before the night is over. Our sunset time this evening closer to about 914 to 915. And it looks like that will get even later tomorrow. Your first one five pinpoint Doppler radar shows most of the rain in our southern row of the counties at this point. Chiawassee, Genesee and Lapeer. Even then, won't be lasting much longer around those areas as well. Your sky tracker also showing we have plenty of clearing behind that line. So again, still pleasant this evening, despite the little hiccup with these showers and storms tonight. Hour by hour shows clear skies into tomorrow morning. Lots of sun as we start the day Friday. We'll keep that going through about lunchtime. And then just like today, we will have a chance to develop some showers and storms in the afternoon and the evening hours. No severe weather expected again tomorrow. And the coverage of showers and storms could be a little bit less than what's out there for today. Just like today, those showers and storms are tied to the heating of the day, and once we lose that, we'll lose the showers and storms tomorrow. Low temperatures tonight, 40s and 50s as skies clear. Tomorrow, we'll turn those into 70s. Next week, we eventually get back to near 90 by Wednesday. We'll keep that going on Thursday as well. It's one of those seven days that looks a lot worse than it actually is, where we have chances for rain just about every day, but you won't see rain every single day. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.